Why do you keep doing this? Basically, I retired and I wanted to give back because I was seeing where there's 600,000 machining jobs open in the country that cannot be filled because of lack of talent. And the other reason I didn't know I was going to have this reason when I started this, but it's the relationships that I'm building with these students. And it's just, it's so fulfilling for me to be able to help students find their way through life. You know, CTE, uh, I think is probably, and I didn't know much about it until I started here, but you know, the more and more people I talk to, the more and more these programs are needed. You know, and I'm not saying these programs, I think there's 16 different career clusters that we need. Um, you know, and there's everything ranged from culinary arts to horticulture to welding, construction trades. I mean, 400,000 plus welders needed, like 700 something thousand mechanics needed. I think CTE programs in our community and communities across the nation are vital. Uh, we're at a point where there's uh, people that don't have practical skills anymore and they don't have great um, technical job skills. And so I think that letting them have this opportunity in the high schools to where they decide if they really um, are interested in this career, it saves them maybe $60,000 going to culinary school uh, and just to find out it's a job they didn't want to do. The, the benefits that I see of, of CTE is that kids are getting the information that they need so much sooner. And in Amarillo, we're in a wonderful community with caring adults, professionals, who are pouring into our kids. All the preparation my freshman, sophomore, and junior year in the CTE program has allowed me to go out into the community and get this pro internship. Whereas originally I started as a doctor, now I know because of my experience out in the field and getting to learn from people that I actually want to be involved in mental health. And I just, without CTE, I would have never found that career path until later in life, or I may never have found it. I may have never had that opportunity. Without CTE, I definitely would not have kind of found what I've wanted to do, I will guess I would still be in the traditional high school setting. And the knowledge gained from the C2 program has prepared me to go into my pro internship. And from there, I've learned real engineering type skills and collaborative work from a team at an actual company. And so that can be applied to my future aspirations. Just like acal has been doing for the last 20 years, bringing students from all campuses here to learn in their career pathway. A CTE center is going to impact more lives and give students the benefit of where they're headed to. What is my plan? Where am I going? What am I going to do? I have waiting lists. Kids want to get in all the time. Mr. Winber, can I take your program? Sure, but you know, I'm full. Because you know, right now I think there's 27 or 28 kids enrolled in this. I have eight booths. So you got eight kids working, you have 20 kids standing. If we had a centralized locations, we could pull from all four high schools and get those kids and teach them the same life skills all over the district. You could put four culinary kitchens together and be able to multiply the amount of students that are in there because your teachers are all based in one location. With the way that we're set up on individual campuses right now, um, there's really no way that I could teach more than 75 culinary students um, a year. I think a centralized CT location is a great idea. Right now, I'm the only teacher on campus that teaches architecture. And being able to bounce back ideas in a central place with, and, and not even just ideas, project. Um, we could look at where in architecture, we could actually provide a blueprint with details and we pass it on to framers. And we have the HVAC guys come in. We can make small scale models and, or we could even start building houses for the community. We are desperate in this area for, for students to graduate with skills that they can immediately get a great job, even if they go on to college, even if they go on to a trade school, they're gonna have to work while they're there. And so employability skills that they can learn here will put them in touch with our area and our, our local community and help these students. I always tell my students, when you know better, you can do better. And I know as a teacher that, that they have to 
have information and knowledge and adults around them guiding them. That is when real learning is taking place, when they're motivated, when they're interested, when there's buy-in. And that's what a CTE program does for you.